tobacco. <laughs> we can talk about tobacco plants. Tobacco plants. But this live stream is because we've been meaning to talk about this, even though it's old news now. Uh, Encanto and specifically Mirabella's superpower, because I had seen a lot of theorists who were saying that she didn't have superpower. Or what was the what was the one theory that she had a superpower? It was uh, what was her superpower? Somebody theorized she had a superpower. I don't know. Most people are saying she doesn't have a power. Mm -hmm. But even the movie itself doesn't say she doesn't have a power. Well, no, the cousin she said she didn't get one when it came she to a gift. She did get a gift. A gift. Well, that's the power, dork. Yes, and so it was on the assumption that because uh, she didn't get a door, she didn't get a, a gift. gift. But. But anyway, but so uh, I found her all along. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> so I'm going to shrink this that people are like, what's going on? <laughs> and I'm going to pull, whoa, what happened? Whoa. It, it, did it stop? Am I still alive? <laughs> Help, I don't know. Are we dead? No, okay, it's still going. This is good. Okay. okay. So we're at, we 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 are going to, we um, rather than stealing the video itself, we're going to do screenshots to go through. So what we're going to do is we're going to represent that Mirabella does indeed have a superpower and her power is more important than all of the powers that some people have theorized. And and we're also, you know, so uh, first we're going to start with the story. Uh, in case you don't know, this is this is gonna be boring. This is Mirabella, yay, Mirabella. As it, okay, we all know the magic comes when he died. Now it's not clear how the magic happened, but I think there's a clue how the magic happened. Um, there's an old movie trope that, uh, especially in the Twilight Zone, that uh. A very famous episode where the the saucer keeps reliving the last couple hours of its life over and over again because the captain won't let go. Everyone else is trapped in the captain's force of will. Well, when he dies, her grief is so huge, and it happened at a river, a place of magic and and power, river spirits, and wonderful, amazing things like that. That this encanto was built. Yeah. Because she, from her power, and if you look at Abuela, she has never let him go. His, 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 his paintings on the wall, when Mirabella comes down the stairs in the morning, she goes, good morning, Abuelo. Um, and she, uh, uh, somebody pointed out in one of the theories that her bedroom is a re recreation of her room back in the village they had to flee from. Yeah, she talks to him. Yeah, she. Well, that you know, that's that's ancestor. Yeah, talking there. Um, the candle is this big force candle, but the thing about this candle is it was the candle she was holding as they fled to see by when he died. It's not like it was a different candle that just formed out of air. Everything about about the Encanto's magic is, I believe, because she will not let go. She can't let go. I mean, after all, I mean, let's face it. She had just, she literally had just had kids that day. Yeah. And, you know, so a lot, yeah. and, and she really loved him. I mean, she still loves him. Yeah. So that's where the power comes from. And so that means that uh, somebody said, well, she doesn't have powers, but she's got a door. She is the source. That's why. Yeah. But she ain't getting no younger. And and I think that's important. But but I mean even even her force of will. I mean she's holding the family together, but she also controls the family with an iron will. I mean, these kids could have rebelled at any point in time. And you know, and kids do. They they even did it in Victorian times. This is where he dies. Let me skip four. So we've already covered her, his death. And then uh, so then. Uh, Mirabelle doesn't get a door. You know. Okay, fine. But everybody else got a door. This twat. That twat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we never got to see her room. We did not know what's in her room. Obviously, treadmills and weightlifting equipment. 
She's outside her room! And probably all those, uh, it's a huge exercise room! <laughs> How do we know? Because what else would she Have you in? looked at her character? She's really girly! It can be pastel. <laughs> She's choosing to exercise outside her room, and I, and I thought yes, about fresh that. Air. Well, I mean, it could have been because they, you know, a, a device having her out there so that you could see her because her room wasn't important. But what if it's because she doesn't like her room? Bruno hated his room too. You in case would, you forgot, you would too if all uh, your room was just <laughs> stairs. <laughs> oh my gosh, stairs! <laughs> You get a lot of exercise in that room. Uh, Bruno's room was like the highest. She should have moved into Bruno's room. <laughs> Lots of exercise equipment room in there. It's bigger on the inside. Uh, <laughs> so everybody else gets these gifts, but what's really in, in, interesting is these gifts are really just an extension of Abuela's gift. That was the thing I noticed. Luisa is strong. What is Abuela? Abuela is mentally strong. She had to be strong for the family. And then, and then, uh, uh, the princess, I hate her, um, is perfect. 